Am I the asshole? For telling my stepmom she needs to accept she will never be the mom to a girl. My parents divorced when I was a baby. My older brother was two at the time and he's now 17. Our dad remarried just over a year after the divorce and they created a blended family. Dad had us, our stepmom had two boys who were pretty. The first time I met her, she told me it was not a pleasure to met the person who thinks she is a whore. Never called her that I tried to explain but got cut off by my son. Me and him had a conversation and he told me to drop it. Shotgun wedding and one kid later, our relationship is strained. I see her at family events but that really is it. I have been blow off so many times for inviting them out that I don't anymore. I have accepted that I won't be a strong presence in their lives or my grandkid. Now the family rotates who does holidays. It is her time to host Thanksgiving. I gave a text asking what time I should be over and if they want me to bring anything. She told me I wasn't invited but my husband is. I talked it over with him and we decided to host our own. I informed the other kids what happened and I will have dinner at my place if they want to go. Well none of the other kids are going now and I am getting texts from her and my son that I am acting like a jerk and to cancel my thanksgiving. Mini update I sent a text with screenshots about not being invited to my son, according to him he didn't know I wasn't invited and thought I was hosting to piss of his wife. He sent texts that confirm that. I have called Dill to ask about how he presented the paternity test and if they were exclusive at the time. No pickups I will ask over text and give my side of the story. Will inform when she responds. I got thrown under the bus and they were on a break when she got pregnant. Apparently they dated for like two months, had a break, became fuck buddies again, got back together, the she found out she was pregnant. He presented it as me forcing him to have the test. So they are going to deal with that now. Not the asshole hey, you may be an art to your deal. Jury is out on that one and it's not why we're here. But when it comes to Thanksgiving, you weren't invited so what did she expect you to do? Not the asshole. There are unspoken rules when hosting an event on behalf of the whole family. Unlike a regular event where you are the host and in sole control, a rotating family host is actually more of a caretaker. There is an unspoken rule that if it's your turn to host the family, that you actually host the family. She chose to not host the family, but only host part of it. In that context, your response is proportional and appropriate. In less polite language she effed around and found out. Not the asshole and it doesn't matter but I'm just curious, would you have told him to get a paternity test if they were exclusive with each other? She sounds demonic lol. Info have you ever spent any time with your dill alone? Off topic from your actual post question, but I'm shocked by her first reaction to you. She assumed you called her a whore. Have you ever told her you didn't? It does leave me wondering what your son said about you and how he phrased his request for a paternity test. Not the asshole she wanted people to pick side and they sided with you. You didn't start the fight and she should have foreseen the other guests, like your children, to potentially side with you. It's really in poor taste to do it on Thanksgiving when it's supposed to be about coming together, not dividing family apart. Not the asshole. She wants to play this stupid game, she can't be mad when others play it better. Did you make yours at the same time you should? Don't let this lady bulldoze you out of your family. It's insane to think she can invite your husband and exclude you. It's also wild that your spineless son is allowing it. The first time I met her, she told me it was not a pleasure to met the person who thinks she's a whore. Never called her that I tried to explain but got cut off by my son. Your son sounds so suspicious right now. He must have messed things up while trying to make excuses years ago. Natar. I get the feeling your son is the actual issue. He caused the rift and doesn't know how to fix it with his wife without her getting mad at him so he continues to let her be live you were the problem. Not the asshole, but I have a feeling your son is. He's probably put a lot of words in your mouth that you've never said. 
every argument he is probably using you to make her mad. I'd try and hand a conversation with both of them. Parents can also go no contact with toxic children. Info why are you blaming this entirely on your dill not you son? Not the asshole but your son is the asshole here and you've fallen for it. You're letting him use you as the scapegoat here. Why would he tell your dill that you advised him to take a paternity test? Not the asshole. Your dill son thought they could take Thanksgiving from you. That was their intention. They thought that by excluding you, they could force you to sit alone and realize that you are an ah whom nobody loves. I love how this backfired. Sounds like a good petty revenge story. They're like a kid that thinks his toy magic wand is real. They said abracadabra, and nothing happened. Not the asshole. You weren't invited. The rest of the family decided for themselves who they want to spend the day with. She was a complete ah if she expected your husband to come without you. Your dill is dividing the family and unfortunately your son is complicit. Not the asshole. Why isn't your son standing up for you? Did he lie about her seeing other people? Something just isn't right here. Not the asshole. It is a social faux pas to invite a person and intentionally exclude their spouse. It's also not surprising that the rest of the kids decided they didn't want to spend Christmas W.O. their parents because she created unnecessary drama. So they thought everyone would be okay with them disrespecting you? Not the asshole honestly I would have advised my son of the same thing, given they were dating others. She came in determined to cause upset and division. Your son is the problem for hiding behind you, if he didn't agree he would not have insisted. Instead he has obviously spun the tale of woe is me to her. As for uninviting you from thanksgiving and now giving you grief. It's time to have a chat and let your son know his behavior is on the nose and if he continues going down that path, then you will completely respect his stance of independence and remove him from any inheritance as it will be coming from you. Not the asshole but, you really need to talk to her. I think your son is the R in this situation. My gut feeling is she was exclusive to your son but your son wasn't. He told her you wanted the paternity test and threw you under the under the buzz. It doesn't make sense for her to have this much animosity to you otherwise. Not the asshole. If they wanted people to enjoy being around them, they shouldn't be ours. The family had made it clear they prefer you and your husband's company. You didn't force anything. You just gave an option, and the choice was loud and clear. Not the asshole your son and Dill didn't want you for Thanksgiving so you are throwing your own. What else could they expect you to do? They sounds like a nightmare and bullies. I bet everyone is glad that they don't have to spend Thanksgiving with them. Not the asshole I'm sorry for you that your Dill is such an insufferable person. If she was not exclusive to your son when she got pregnant then suggesting a paternity test is the smartest thing to do. If she feels slighted by this then it's her own fault. You did nothing wrong and the fact that she blames you just shows that she really blames herself but can't admit it. I am really happy for you that your other kids are standing by you here. If she wants to invite your husband but not you it just shows what a pathetic human being she is. I pity your son and your grandkid having to live with someone like her. Not the asshole. You were being a parent as far as I can tell. Not the asshole did she and your son just expect you to sit at home alone? Wring your hands and wail because you had the audacity to ask for a paternity test? I think most parents that care for their sons would do the same in this circumstance. Dill sounds like a real peach. Not the asshole and more power to you and your husband. It's not your fault your Dill is insufferable. I have called Dill to ask about how he presented the paternity test. I'm so glad you did this. It really seems like he told you one thing, her another, and prevented you from slipping the beans when you met. Not the asshole the problem is your son because he thought it was okay to invite his dad but not you to thanksgiving. You can blame your ill but your son is backing her up. Good for you for hosting your own dinner. You need to talk with your son. You're happy that they jumped into the rotation, but if you're not invited then how's it all going to work?